Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to develop an app using Claude AI. And then after I'll show you how to deploy your app to Vercel so people can view it live. So if there's something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so you'll need to set up an account with Claude.ai so it's free to get started. So I'm currently just using the free plan here. Okay, so over here we can see the chat prompt, which you can talk with just like ChatGPT. Okay, so just over here, you. Within the free version, you can access the Claude Sonnet model. And on the pro version, you can access their more powerful models. Okay, and then over here, you can upload, say, content, screenshots, or even add from GitHub, say, a code base. Okay, and then over here is the settings, such as allowing web searches. And then you can add connectors to other apps as well. But that, again, that's for the pro version. So in this video, we'll just stick with the free version. And then the styles, you can just select which style if you're doing some kind of writing or scientific research, then you can select the style which you prefer. Okay, so I'll just create a simple app here and we'll deploy it directly to Vercel. Okay, so let's just create a weather app that gets data from an external API. Okay, so let's say, build me a weather widget web app that pulls weather data from an external api that's free make the ui minimal and easy to view weather forecasts across different say countries cities and then make nice icons to go with each weather forecast Okay, and then let's just make it a bit more advanced. So there should be a weather breakdown for the week. So let's so say Sunday to Saturday. Okay. And then, and then an hourly breakdown as well. hourly forecasts to say from 00, zero to 2400 okay and then i'll click enter okay great so i developed the application here and as we can see it looks better than something i can code on a first attempt, right? So we have our seven day forecast with the icons. So it's a very beautiful app as well. So if we read down here, we just need to add in our API key in order to see the dynamic data. So let's just do that now. So I'll open up the weather map. Okay. And then you just need to create an account here. Okay. So I'm not able to edit the code here as it's not a text editor. So I'll tell Claude the API key here. So I just submit the API key. Okay, so it's saying error to fetch. So let's just ask Cloud Code what's the issue. Okay, so I'll test the URL here in the browser. Okay, so I'm getting an invalid API key. So I'll just create a new API key and see if that works. We can see just the current temperature. So it might just be an issue with that. So let's see if that helps. So just making the app less complicated. Okay, so I'll just say change the weather widget to show only the weather at the present moment. So remove weekly and hourly forecast. As I think we might need to upgrade to a higher tier plan, that's why it's not working. So I'll just try this. Okay, great. So it looks the widget looks like this now. So if I change the city, then it also changes the data here. So again, this is just using fake data. So it's not connected to the API. 
Okay, so let's try to launch this as it might just be an issue with it not being on a valid URL. Okay, so what you want to do is up at the top here, you can download as HTML. So just download your files. Okay, and then what we're going to do is go into GitHub and then create a new repository. Okay, so I'll just call this weather app. Okay, and we can make this public. And then you can give it a description. Okay, so just by default is fine. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is just upload the files directly. Okay, so what we can do is just upload an existing file. Okay, so I'll just drag in this file. Okay, and I'll just say initial commit or initial upload. Okay, and commit change. Okay, awesome. So our weather widget is, is here. So now we need to take this and connect it with Vercel. So go into your Vercel account. Okay, so you can just sign up for an account for free just using their hobby tier. Okay, and once you have an account, you can go into your dashboard. And over here, you can go to add new and add new project. And then you're just going to want to connect with GitHub. Okay, so just install the GitHub application here. Okay, great. So I have my application here. So I'll import the weather app. Okay, so this looks good. Just double check your repository here in the correct branch. So it's just an HTML file and then we can click deploy. Okay, awesome. So now it's been deployed. Okay, and then you can view your application here. Just so click visit. Okay, so same 404 not found. Okay, so just in our repo, let's just rename the file here. So let's just go into the widget here and then edit the file. And then just rename it over here to index.html. Okay, and come and change. Yep, so rename widget to HTML. So this will allow Vercel to recognize that this is the initial file. And then let's go back to Vercel and redeploy. Okay, so we just did that instantly. And then we can go into our domain here. Okay, so we can click visit. Okay, great. So our application has been deployed to Vercel and you can share this link here in order for other users to test your application. And then over here in Vercel as well, you can add in custom domains. So you can just go here into domains and then you can add a custom domain and link that to your app so that you're not using a Vercel branded domain. You can change it to like weatherapp.com. So if you're looking to publish this app into production, then you'll need a custom domain. So this includes the end of the video. I hope you're able to learn more about Cloud AI and how to deploy your apps to Vercel. If you need help with any web development or AI applications, then you can contact me at maplikmedia.ca. Please like, subscribe to stay up to date on my latest videos, and thanks for watching.